Dog smart. Hey, it's Chris with The Real Estate Tomato. Um, today what I want to show you is how to add images to your sidebar and have them link to either another website or to an internal page. Um, this is a question I get all the time from clients and it's something you can always do but you just need to know a little bit of HTML to do it. However, now we have a new plugin that we found uh, that allows you to do this without knowing any HTML or coding at all. Uh, so first, you want to be on your website and the first thing is just to make sure that the plugin is activated. So you can go up into the admin bar in the top right and click plugins and you're looking for the simple image link. That's the name of it, Simple Image Link uh, plugin. If you're not seeing it in, under active plugins, just scroll down to the inactive. There's a lot in here. Uh, by the way, if you're not used to plugins, definitely be careful about activating uh, ones that you don't know anything about. Always email us first, just letting us know that, hey, you're interested in a plugin. Is it okay to activate? I'm giving you permission, though, right now to go ahead and activate the Simple Image Link plugin. So once you have that activated, you can go under Appearance and Widgets, and you'll find a widget on the left side under Available Widgets called Simple Image Link. Just click Add, and when you click Edit, it gives you a bunch of, bunch of options here. Uh, the most important one is this Required field that says Image Location. So you need the URL for the image before you can really do anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Save Changes here and just save that widget to my sidebar. And then I'm going to go over to Post and Add New. And all I'm doing here is I'm not really going to create a new post or anything. I'm just using this to take an image that I have on my hard drive and upload it onto our server. Once you've done that, any image on our server has a URL. So just like you add an image to a post, I'm going to click Add Media, select Files, and let's see here, I'm on my personal computer, so I don't really have any good pictures to use, but I have this funny one here of Obama with a beer in his hand. And so when I'm on this screen here that says Title, Caption, Description, Link URL, this is what I'm looking for here. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight the link URL and copy this. If this field is blank, just click File URL and it will fill in itself. So again, just highlight it, copy that URL, and then you can X out of this, this little pop-up window. And let's go back into Widgets. So I'm going to click Edit next to the simple, simple Image Link widget. And where it asks for the image location, I'm going to go ahead and right-click in there and choose Paste. So now the URL to the image I want to use is in there. Uh, let's just say, I, I know it doesn't really make any sense with the image I have, but I'm going to link this image to the About page. So for title, I'm going to put About Chris. And I want the system to display the title, so I'll go ahead and mark that. Im uh, display image for the following users. I'm not going to touch this. This is going to make sure that um, anybody who visits the site can see that image. Um, image dimensions, uh, I'm not quite sure the size of the image that I have here, so I'm just going to do 50%. I don't want it to be about half the size of what it probably is originally. Um, you can also use pixels here if you want, so I could do you know 150px by 150px as well. Um, image alt text, again, search engines don't have eyes. Uh, you probably learned this during our class um, with me. So image don't have eyes and if you want to optimize this image for search engines um, you're going to want to put some descriptive text in here. So I'm about I'm going to put about Chris and then even Hotes um, just because Chris is kind of a common name so get my last name in there. Uh, text display after the image um, so you can write something that says click here to learn about Chris Hotes, and this will display right after the image in the sidebar. I can put a little break uh, between the image and the text. This just puts some spacing between that. Align it to the center, but you also have the option to align to the left or right. Uh, link location. 
Uh, this is where you put uh, the URL where you want that to link to. So I want it to link to chris.realestatetomato.net forward slash about. Uh, this could be a third party URL as well. So you can link it to another business or if you're linking to your IDX, you can put that in there as well. Uh, link target. Since it's, I'm linking internally, I'm just going to have this open in the same window, but you have the option to have it open in a new window as well. Use no follow on link. Um, so what this is, no follow is a command to search engines, letting them know whether they should follow that link to the location it's going to or whether they should ignore it and not follow that link. Um, if you're linking internally, I would uncheck that. Uh, this way search engines can follow that and then uh, index your about page as well. Uh, if you're linking externally to a third party website, I would have that checked so that uh, search engines don't leave your website and follow that to the other other site. Um, has a few other options here, adding padding for instance, I'm just going to add padding about 20 pixels above and below. That just adding that adds spaces between this widget and maybe any others that could be above or below it. Click done. Click save changes. I'm going to click visit site in the top left. And there you have it. You can see now my image, 50 pixels by 50, 150 pixels by 150 pixels. Um, I have some text below here that says click here to learn about Chris Hotes. You can click the image and it's going to take you directly to my about page. So pretty easy. Um, if you have any questions about adding an image to your sidebar or using this widget, please email molly at realestatetomato.com.